Hey all here, OS Reviews, you're watching our hands-on review of the iHarper Graphene Earphones. This is the S001. This is notable for being one of the least expensive high-res audio certified earbuds that you can find on Amazon, retailing for around $22. So the high-res certification passes kind of a standard set by Sony, meaning that it has pretty detailed sound. So if you have a high-res track on your device, maybe in a FLAC format, you should be able to hear more detail because of the wide frequency range, uh, as well as uh, packing maybe slightly higher end drivers on board. So it's interesting that this thing is so low cost because many audiophile grade high-res audio certified earbuds can sell upwards of $200, $300, so this is definitely low cost in comparison. Obviously sound won't be quite as detailed and accurate or refined, but should still be a step up compared to free earbuds that you may find using a box, you know, mp3 player or a phone. Anyways, the packaging here is pretty simple. We have just a completely cardboard paper-based packaging, which is interesting, but there is a soft microfiber pouch, which you can use to store the earbuds when on the go, has the logo on the side. There's also a quick instruction manual as well. And here are the specs in terms of the frequency range 20 to 40,000 hertz, so definitely wider than the regular 20 to 20,000. So inside we have just the earbuds themselves, which have been very carefully folded up. Very interesting shape in terms of the wires, as well as how the diaphragm of the aluminum sits at this almost completely straight angle. It's actually quite strange. Immediately, some things I like about the design include the use of a fabric material for the wire as opposed to being rubber completely. Otherwise, we also have a gold-plated 3.5 millimeter connector, so very standard plug there. Uh, on the other side, we do have just a wire splitter. Now, this version here does not come with a built-in remote, so you can't actually play and pause your track. Moving into audio quality, for only 25 bucks, I think that they sound outstanding. Uh, it definitely lives up to the high-res audio certification just because there's so much depth in the sound. It sounds very balanced, especially in mids and lows. I really wasn't expecting too much bass, but they actually do pack a punch. Um, looking at the size of these earbuds, and especially how they are designed, it looks like there's almost no room at all to fit anything significant into this small of a body, but actually I was wrong. When you're listening to drum beats of EDM music, of orchestral music, it blends just really nicely into the overall track and it definitely almost vibrates a little bit in your ears. So that part is extremely impressive. I don't believe they're actually triple driver or even dual driver earbuds either, so they did actually do a very good job in terms of the lower frequencies. Uh, mids also sound just very warm, very clean, and inviting. Uh, I would say that highs could be a little bit more crisp, especially if you're uh, listening to you know vocals and acoustic settings. That is just one slight downside. But overall, for listening to just general pop music, for EDM tracks, for listening to uh, movie soundtracks, they actually sound excellent. Weaknesses would again include the fact that highs I still find could be a bit more light and crispy and airy. In addition, the fit, although they're extremely light and comfortable to wear for long periods of time, is not quite as secure as maybe winged tips or maybe something that's a little bit larger because right now, aside from the silicon tip, it's just uh, sticking in because of the friction. So if you are running or moving around, they do fall out quite easily. The sound isolation is also quite good, but again, dependent on your ears and also on the size of the silicon tips you use, but otherwise they didn't have too many problems in terms of sound leakage, which is good. So that's more or less it as far as our hands-on quick review of the iHarper S001 Graphene In-Ear Style earbuds. For this really low budget price, they actually are quite hard to beat if you're looking for excellent sound quality. And even though these aren't by a brand name per se, uh, and also a lot of devices these days are moving towards USB Type-C, I would still say that they're worth taking a closer look at if you want really solid sounding in your style earbuds, but in an affordable price with high-res audio certification. So you can check out more details about these in the links down below, but for now that's been our video. Thanks for watching here at OS Reviews, an interesting pair of earbuds from a relatively unknown new brand name that's called iHarper. These have been the S001.